5.6% on all the key indices. The mid caps too are down close to about 120 points with the advanced decline ratio standing at two stocks in the green for five in the red. The stocks which are under pressure in the broader market are the ones which have lost considerable ground this month. So you've got a PC Jewelers down 15% today but that's down nearly 42% uh, since the start of the year. Jet Airways as we know is down 50% this month itself. Uh, Jen Irrigation fresh pledge created that stock is down 65%. Uh, in the last one year, Vakrangi, ADAG Group stocks like Reliance Infra, Reliance Capital, which have lost close to about uh, 70 to 80 percent since the start of the year. So the big losers today are the ones which have already seen considerable pressure and have been rank underperformers in the last few months. But it's time now to take stock of the sky gods. Manisha Gupta is here with a roundup of the commodity, currency and the rain action. <laughs> <laughs> Majorly the rain action right now because uh, it, these are dismal numbers that we are dealing with. If you look at the pre-monsoon numbers, it was 23 percent deficient. If you look at the month of June until now, it is deficient by nearly 42 percent so the news is clearly not good even as the IMD and the SkyMet uh, do tell us that it is a devolving El Nino the impacts of that clearly can be seen so not only we have seen a delayed monsoon for the month of June but it has been sluggish as well and the progress itself has been quite stalling and the bigger concerns of course come in in sense of heat waves that have been predicted in various parts of Maharashtra Andhra Pradesh Telangana Tamil Nadu etc and even bigger problem is of the water where the reserve Warriors now only hold 18% of their total capacity and some of the southern and western states actually have slipped to below 10 year average in sense of water. So whether the situation gets better from here or worse for that understanding we have with us now Mr. GP Sharma of SkyMet. Mr. Sharma hi good to have you. First of all what's your sense on the numbers right now the kind of deficiency that we hold for the month of June and is there any recovery that you see happening in these numbers going forward? Uh, good morning. Uh, see, the uh, month of June so far have uh, seen on daily basis also large deficiency. Mm. It's about 30-40%. Every day the rainfall is that much and therefore the cumulative deficiency also stands at that. It's about 43% now. I don't see any recovery for the next few days, mm. you can say. Take mm. another four days or so, I don't uh, see any recovery. It may not go worse from this. It could stand at 43-44%. But then uh, I expect a low pressure area to form in the Bay of Bengal, the first of its kind of the season in the month of June in the Bay of Bengal. And that possibly should give at least some rains over the central parts of the country, which are highly deficit so far. Most deficit pocket is central India, and in that most deficit, it is uh, Maharashtra, Vidarbha mm. and Maratwara. They are the large deficit pockets. As Mr. Sharma, today. it is usually by 5th to 10th of June that the uh, monsoons usually cover Maharashtra or Mumbai for sure. We are standing at 17th of June, and uh, we haven't seen monsoon officially onset in Maharashtra. Do you see this kind of delay continue because of the rest of India is still waiting for monsoons? Uh, see, the, uh, uh, actually, if you see the last two years also, when the monsoon onset was on time, but then still it remained very sluggish. Mm. But then in that, the southern parts of peninsula, including uh, parts of Maharashtra and uh, uh, right up to Mumbai also, that was covered within about 10 days. Mm. Last year it was 9th of June for Mumbai and last two last it was about 12th of June. So okay. that portion was covered. Mm. But then the monsoon definitely thereafter had remained in a stalled condition That's for right. almost mm. about two weeks. Eastern mm. parts and the central parts of the country, even 2000 2018, 2019, we, uh, we did uh, see it stalling. But this time, it's not just taking off even from the southern parts. It's mm. a very, very sluggish, very sluggish, very slow, very poor also. Mr. Sharma, a, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Sharma there's a and, report of yours which says that there is a possibility of a deficient monsoon, which is 40% probability in 66% of districts. I mean, that is a very, uh, you know, worrying number uh, that you put out. Are there chances of recovery of this as we get into July, August and September or do you see the overall monsoon ending like that? My fear is the month of June is going to end with a deficiency of about 40%, okay, okay. as we mm. stand. Mm. The initial initial figures which we gave, we stood at about 23%, That's right. but then it's going to be around 40%, maybe marginally 2% uh, here or there. Mm. Uh, uh, because. Uh, 
uh, it doesn't look like so. Yes, the last week of June, I see it better than the first uh, three weeks as such. Okay. See that low pressure and then there. July? At least, mm. the, at least the central parts of the country will have some rains, mm. uh, which are highly deficit now. This includes part, your entire Maharashtra should have also, east or eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh also, including Chhattisgarh. Mm. Uh, that should have at least uh, uh, moderate rains, if not heavy, heavy at few places also. Mm. So that that is a good indication that uh, one week should be at least to start with we have a range over the central parts the northern parts of the country in any case next two three days i expect even some rains there also mm. however the the picking up the pace of the monsoon that's not happening normally southwest monsoon you say southwesterly wind should be sweeping the peninsula india that's not happening even as of now also mm. but then uh, we got to live with it i think uh, for june is going to end up uh, with the, this deficiency marginal recovery only the last week that too over the central parts and the eastern parts that will take place mumbai also still await onset of the monsoon possibly uh, i don't think uh, this is happening in the next few days even for mumbai also yes right. please uh, mr sharma uh, so uh, you know june i think we get about 30% of the overall season rainfall right uh, if june ends with a 40% deficiency uh then uh, you know uh, the the, fo the overall forecast were for a normal normal monsoon season uh where does that leave us because you're saying uh, f uh, forget about distribution etc the pickup itself has not happened so far yes yes june june contributes 18% of 18, the sorry, uh, season, okay. season's rainfall uh, right, june okay. and september they are almost equi they uh, september is about 19% uh, june is 18% july okay. and august both they are in 30s with the maximum in july which is about 33% and august contribute 30% of it okay mm -hmm. so uh, in any case uh, we have uh, given a, a projection that june is possibly the poorest of the season and uh, it seems it's happening also uh, uh, for exceeding the our projections uh, which we said 77% it could end up anything between uh, uh, 60 65% uh, of this and the problem is it's becoming difficult thereafter to catch up with this deficiency in the subsequent months mm. in case we end the june with the uh, 40% of deficiency even and rest of the three months even if they have their normal rainfall 100% of their rainfall till we end the season with 93% that that's going to be the probable projection mm -hmm. so june is going to definitely figure out uh, uh, very significantly okay. in case uh, the deficiencies continue like this okay. uh, we okay. have a bigger task ahead in the next few months yes mm. mr sharma one final question so while of course we get the monthly distribution from you what is the geography is looking like because some areas tend to get more rains and uh, others not so much uh, i i i'm looking for two pointed questions one when do you see the onset of monsoons now in mumbai and the other is which are the areas you think will be more prone to deficient monsoons see as of today almost all pockets are deficit to large deficit barring mm. few pockets of karnataka mm. where is it's a, a fairly fairly i will not say good but then some rains at least they are there and then uh, there is a one odd pocket because of the cyclone so rashtra and kutch they had some rains and that's a pocket which is showing some uh, somewhere near to normal but otherwise all pockets of the country including northeast which is the rainiest pocket they are deficit and many of them they are large deficit also where it is exceeding 60% uh, deficiency so so as of as of now obviously i I, I i don't see a good prospects to cover this deficiency most of the pockets they are going to end up with that uh, only silver lining which i said last week of uh, a week uh, of june which possibly will give some central india including maharashtra madhya pradesh chatisgarh some rains uh, as far as mumbai uh, monsoon is concerned i don't see it happening now earlier we thought you see it, it is mumbai has rained for a couple of days we, it looked like that it's monsoonal air mass only after all monsoon is what for mumbai you have the clouding you have the rains you have the temperatures you have a humidity increasing and that was there somehow uh, 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 it, it 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 has not been declared there but then the interiors are very poor you cannot have the monsoon over mumbai even now also but then the interiors are very poor you cannot advance the monsoon line over those regions possibly they're waiting for that also that the winter central part uh, peninsular india when they have some rains possibly the line will be extended from mumbai and then covering some more parts over peninsular india that doesn't happen in the next about 4 5 days that doesn't happen it should happen only sometime possibly next week around next week got That's it, it. Got it. Uh, Mr. Sharma, thank you very much uh, for uh, joining us and taking us through 
the monsoon uh, picture. So, uh, Manisha, the situation is pretty worrying, right? Grim, yes. I think uh, this, uh, even as IMD and SkyMet have been calling it a devolving El Nino, but there are still high chances and we are seeing that in numbers right now. Delayed, mm -hmm. deficient monsoon and as he said, if you're looking at 40% of deficiency for the month of June and a spillover in the month of July, I think this is concerning because as he said, in the last couple of years, we've seen Mumbai get monsoons between 5th to 12th of June. 17 June and he says there's still a week to go. So it's not declared yet because it's not. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a weak monsoon forecast coming in from SkyMed. A possibility of 40% deficiency in the month of June and June contributes about 18% to the overall uh, monsoon. Um, at least for the southwest uh, monsoon season. So that's a pretty weak picture. Get into a break. On the other side, we'll discuss the market technicals with Ashwini Gutral and we'll also get in his top trading bets.